This is the Switch Grip Pro from Satisfy. It's meant to ease the discomfort of gaming for long periods of time. But the question is, is it worth the money? Hey everyone, what is going on? I'm back with another video and today we're taking a look at the Switch Grip Pro from Satisfy. If you've played the Nintendo Switch for any amount of time in portable mode, then you know that it's not the most comfortable thing to hold on to. This is where Satisfy comes into play. For about $30, you can add a grip to your Nintendo Switch to make it hold like a normal controller. I have the limited edition blue bundle, which I got for Christmas. It's exactly the same except for a color swap. Instead of black and red, it's blue and black. But it functions exactly the same, which is to say you just put your Switch in it. Depending on the bundle you have, which we'll talk about later, you get various different accessories. But if you get the base version, it comes with just the grip and two thumb pads. Let's start with the build quality. If it's something that you're gonna be handling for long periods of time, it needs to be durable. It's mainly just plastic and rubber joined together by 10 screws, but it definitely does not feel cheap. Most of the body is plastic, but the back of the handles are rubber. In the intersection of the switch, it's all plastic, but there's little rubber bits to help hold the switch in with a friction fit. There's no locking mechanisms or Joy-Con rails to have to fiddle around with. Without the switch in the grip, there's very little give on the plastic as is. With the switch in, there's still a little bit of give, but it's so small that you can easily overlook it. The switch actually barely touches the plastic, only at the feet at the bottom. It mainly rests on the rubber bits on the inside of the grip through a friction fit like I talked about earlier. Not so tight that you have to worry about your switch getting stuck in there, yet not so loose that it'll slide out. The rubber on the back of the grip feels really nice in the hand, and it doesn't feel like it's gonna slip out of my hands whenever I sweat too much with my <laughs> little sweaty palms. The grip itself is really light at 141 grams. And with the switch and thumb pads in, it weighs 558 grams total. Honestly, there's not that much difference in weight if you have the regular switch versus if you put it in the grip. So if you have it with you, I don't think it's gonna drag you down. Moving on to the function, this device has one main goal. Provide a comfortable gaming experience for the user. And if it doesn't deliver on that promise, then it's not worth the money, right? If it's not good at being a grip, then it's not worth the money. Well, this is where I'm glad to report that it does exactly what it's intended to do. It fits well in the hand and it's comfortable to hold for long periods of time. Now you might be wondering why the right side of the grip looks so asymmetrical from the left side of the grip. Well, that's because the right Joy-Con is designed with a lower stick than the left Joy-Con. And in order to accommodate for comfort, they had kind of shifted the grip a little bit outwards made it asymmetrical to make sure that your thumb doesn't cramp. A bonus function of this grip is that you can use it as a stand so that you can play it in tabletop mode. It's definitely a lot more sturdy than the Switch's kickstand. The only downside is that the angle at which the Switch stands is just a little over 90 degrees. Whereas with the Switch's actual kickstand itself, it's way more than that, maybe about 115 degrees. The thumb pads make it easier to grip the analog sticks with your thumbs because it turns them from a convex angle to a concave angle better suited to fit the shape of your thumbs. One of the issues, which is minor or major, depending on how you use the Switch, is the fact that you can't really use a regular USB Type-C cable when it's in tabletop mode. This is because of the design of the grip. It doesn't allow for any regular USB Type-C cable to fit between the grip and the tabletop. And Satisfy is well aware of that. They decided to include a 90 degree USB-A to 90 degree USB-C cable in their bundles. With the shape of this cable, it now allows you to charge and play at the same time. But if you don't wanna pick up a bundle, you can get the included cable on its own for $11.99. The thing is, that's just an option. Depending on how you play your own Switch, you may or may not need this cable. Another issue is that depending on the size of your hands, your hands may be too big or too small to properly fit on the grip. It's a sort of one size fits all solution. But I can kind of see the one size fits all as a good thing so that way there's not too many options on their website of large grip, small grip, regular size grip. And if you get the wrong one, you have to send it back and they have to send you a new one and somebody's paying shipping and handling. I think the one size fits all is a good solution. But again, like I said, it can be an issue depending on who you are. Like I said before, there's a bunch of different bundles you can choose from to outfit and modify your grip and switch to best suit your style. There's the grip itself that just comes with the two thumb pads. There's a Slim Elite bundle, which comes with a case that can store up to 10 games. Then there's the Pro Elite bundle, which comes with a 90 degree charging cable the Joy-Con rails, and a larger case. While the limited edition bundle I have came with two sets of thumb pads, two Joy-Con connector rails, 
a carrying strap, and enough room to fit 20 game cartridges. Another issue I'd say is that the grip is too large to fit into any regular Nintendo Switch case. That's why they have so many bundles with cases. There's a lot of different options, but it all depends on your needs. If you're someone who doesn't think they're gonna need a case, you can just go for the grip itself. If you want a case, but don't really carry a lot of accessories, go for the Pro Slim bundle. If you're someone who wants to be ready in any situation, go for the limited edition bundle or the limited edition epic bundle, which comes with way more things. Again, it all depends on your needs. But at the end of the day, if you've got $30 and wanna upgrade your Switch gaming on the go, I cannot recommend this anymore. Definitely grab one if you get the chance. I've been using this grip for a couple months now and it definitely makes gaming on the go a lot more comfortable than just holding on to the Switch by itself. What do you think? Do you have one? Would you recommend it? Let me know down in the comments below. Like the video if you liked it, subscribe if you haven't. Shout out to my patrons, Min and John Nan, and I'll see you guys in the next video.